Well, it's all fun and games until you run out of fish. We finally made it to the province. We did the book distribution, the school supplies, and we're just kind of hanging out at the house. Her sister owns a very large Sorry Sorry store and the water store, so they're doing okay. Got delivery trucks, seem to be pretty busy. Over here where we did the book distribution, they are doing some rice drying, and Melanie wanted to pretend she was a farmer again. She says she misses it, but I think she forgets how hard a work it really is. She only did it a few minutes. I found a really cool set of bananas, but I did not realize they were slated for harvesting. So, they don't look quite ready. Whatever. Hanging out at the house was fun, but we did load into the family trike and headed into town. They have a 7-Eleven now. They're moving up in the world. This is the family chariot. They also have a truck, but we use the tricycle. We were hanging out at the seawall, stopped at 7-Eleven for snacks. And uh, the seawall is really cool here. They built this, I don't know, four or five years ago. As you can see, they call it Antiki, the province, where the mountains meet the ocean. And they're not kidding. This is supposed to be a sunset view. This gets you the same gorgeous sunsets as Boracay, the white beach. Unfortunately, the weather is not cooperating. You can see how heavy it's raining offshore. We do need to get home before this comes to us. The beach here is kind of small, but it's not bad. And the water is so clean here. There's no cities nearby, not much shipping. The water's really nice. We don't get out here very often because it's far from the house. When we are at their house, I'd like to come spend more time here. And we just never do. She's always visiting with family. I should come by myself, but I don't. This was the best I could get for sunset. This is a picture from like four years ago. We did stop in at Frank's to pick up a bunch of burgers for the kids for tomorrow and watch the lizards chase around all the mayflies. They're eating very well, but the mayflies started swarming the restaurant, so they turned off the lights and the lizards did not get to eat as much. We made it home for the evening and there was a birthday party. So notice how that cake looks just like me? Okay, it's not really a cake. But we had some fun, a little bit of tagai, all the sweet, salty, crunchy, weird foods that you're always supposed to eat while drinking, and a couple of those Frank's hamburgers. And eventually, they ran out of fish. But it was a good time. It's always good to hang out with family. Melanie does miss having a yard, so she had to take a bunch of pictures of their flowers. She takes better pictures than I do. And I didn't know they have a couple pomelo trees at the house. Pretty cool. I've made it pretty clear that I'm not a province dweller. I love the city, but this is the highway, not too shabby. I could get used to this as long as there was a big mall right behind me. Not going to happen. This is the creek water. It comes straight off the mountain. That's about 18 inches deep and just crystal clear. You can see how green everything is. It's everything stays well watered here. There's a constant flow of water coming off the mountains. Melanie says in her life she does not remember ever running out of well water. And this is the only place I've been to the Philippines yet that has drinkable well water. It's actually not bad. I've had it. They drink bottled water now for some reason, I guess because they own the water store. But the well water is drinkable and safe. I like the craftiness of using the coconut shells to plant all their orchids. 
had to get a shot of that because that just is really fun. We needed to do that at, uh, well, I was going to say at the house. But can't really do it at the condo. I did get a Manny Petty, my first one in 18 months, and Melanie started massaging my shoulders. I'm not going to complain. Life is tough all over, huh? Enjoy your day in paradise.